video we took today, we figured out if we can actually beat Pokemon Crystal with the best Pokemon ever, Yanma. We're going to pick up Yanma and our rival is going to have a um, uh, Cyndaquil to make the game a little bit harder. I did name her uh, Ashy because I had no no idea what to name her. I didn't, or him, I didn't actually use, I never actually used Yanma or Yanma before. But a few attacks really easily take down the rival for the first time. Next up was uh, Faulkner, which was pretty easy battle because I did go through the um, through the tower beforehand. I got to level 13 and I just used quick attack on his mons, who couldn't really take me down. Next up was Bugsy. Bugsy went down with quick attack and um, Swift pretty easily. And Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom was actually a useful early game too. But it outlived its usefulness really fast, so we won't be using that for long. Next up was Arrival again. I just used Foresight on Ghastly, then I used Sonic Boom to take it down. It couldn't really damage me. Next up was Quilava. Quilava could do a lot of damage, but I spent Sonic, Sonic Boom. It went for the smoke screen there, which was really annoying because I started missing. Next up was a Zubat. Zubat couldn't really do much to me, so... Swift and Sonic Boom actually takes it out pretty easily. Next up was Whitney. Whitney was surprisingly easy because I had Headbutt, which was the best move in this game, surprisingly. Because I was super fast, so I could just outspeed everything and flinch past everything. Like this Mewtank who couldn't even get the hit in. And it could do a lot of damage to me if it actually used the um, the rollout. Next up was Morty. I just used Wing Attack. I had to level up until I got Wing Attack and then I just spelled Wing Attack because I couldn't get any other moves and I lost Foresight to Headbutt. So. Next up was Chuck, which was really easy too. I just spelled Wing Attack um, on his team and I couldn't even get the hit in, which was what they expected. Next up was Price. I was avoiding uh, Jasmine because Jasmine could do a lot of damage to me and it was really hard to take her out. But Price was surprisingly easy even though he was he had ice, ice types. I was level 49 at this point. I just spent uh, wing attack and headbutt. I finally went to Jasmine. I just spent headbutt on Magnemite. Um, I had to use a paralyzed cure battery there because the Magnemites would always paralyze me and that was really annoying. Then I had to spam double team on um, the Stilix because Stilix could do a lot of damage to me with Rock Throw. After that I had to use Swagger and Headbutt to actually take it down because I can't learn any ground or fire type moves. Which was really annoying. But he did eventually start missing and it took a while but he eventually went down to confusion, hitting himself and using a headbutt so that was really really good. Took a while too. It took a lot of tries. I think that this took me over 200 tries before I actually had a good run. But after that, uh, the rest of the turns were pretty easy. So this was one roadblock down and out. Next up was arrival again. I just used headbutt on goal, but it did go for wing attack, did it, doing a little bit of a damage, but not too much. Next up was Magnemite, who went down to two headbutts before it could actually hurt me. Next up was Quilava. I just went for headbutt as well. I got a critical hit, uh, so I took it down in one shot before it could even attack me. Next up was Hunter. I just used wing attack on that and taking it down in one hit. And last up was Snizzle, who also went down to one headbutt. Next up was um, Claire. Claire's team was pretty easy. I just spammed headbutt on her entire team, um, who couldn't really do much to me. I mean, Dragonair managed to get a Ice Beam off. I did go... I did run out of headbutt stair, but I just spent wing attack. 
Kindred tried using Surf, it did a lot of damage, but another wing attack just takes it out really easily. Next up was another Aka fight or a rival fight. I just spam double team on Sneasel because I didn't want to uh, have anything hit me. Especially his Quilava. His Quilava could do a lot of damage at this point. So I just spammed uh, Swagger and Headbutt on Sneasel. Next up was Goldbutt. I just spammed Headbutt on that. Uh, next up was Magneton, which was what scared me. Because this thing could do a lot of damage really fast and I couldn't really take it out. So I had to use Swagger there. Until it hurt itself, I did actually manage to get a critical hit with headbutt and it just went down to hurting itself. And last up was Teflosion who went down to two headbutts after missing a flame wheel. And last but not least was a hunter, but just this mean look, um, I couldn't actually swap so I just didn't do anything to it. I just used wing attack and one headbutt takes down a cadaver really easily. Next up was the Elite Four. We start off with Will, who still went down to a couple headbutts really easily. They couldn't really do much damage to me. They either flinched, either went down really fast because their defenses are ex absolutely garbage. Um, and next up was Executor. Executor went down pretty easily, like I said, before it could actually do any damage. Slowbro was the only threat on his team. Because he started spamming um, various moves that could actually raise his attacks, special defense and defense and all that, but he couldn't really do much to me. Next up was Koga, whose Ariados went down to one wing attack. Crowbot went down to two wings at wing attacks. He managed to do a lot of damage to me in return. Venomot went down to one wing attack before it could actually attack. Fortress was a threat because I couldn't actually damage it, but it couldn't damage me either. It only had Swift. Swift did nothing to me. Uh, next up was Muck, who could use Minimize, which was really, really annoying because I could start missing, but two, three headbutts actually take it out because we managed to flinch it. Next up was Bruno. Uh, Bruno was pretty easy, like always. His Onyxes actually did a lot of damage to me, could do a lot of damage to me if they actually hurt me. I had to go with Swagger and Headbutt again. But after that, the rest of his team were was pretty easy because they were fighting types and I could just use a wing attack on them. But I had to use double team on the Onyxes because they had a rock throw. And that could do a lot of damage to me. Even though they are pretty weak and their attacks are pretty bad. But I also use Swagger on the Onyx, so if it managed to hit me, I would be dead. But yeah, a couple of headbutts and Swagger take them down really easily. I do get Giga Drain later in the post game, so that should be better after that. Come on, Machamp. Machamp could, uh, couldn't really hurt me even if it actually uh, attacked me. Next up was Umbreon. I just spammed Headbutt. And it, it used a faint attack. I couldn't really do a lot. I ran, out, I ran out of Headbutt because I forgot to use the healing items. But Houndoom actually did a lot of damage to me with Flamethrower. But two wing attacks take it down easily after it heals up. Next up was Gengar, who used a curse on me. But I took down Murkrow in one hit before the curse could activate. And I took down the Wild Plume before the curse could activate as well. So that was kind of defeated. I, it didn't really do much to me. Last up was Lance, I just spammed double team because I was afraid of his aerodactyl and his flying type moves. He could do a lot of damage to me really fast if he wanted to. His team is pretty strong, so... And also I was really afraid of Charizard, so I just used Headbutt. When Gyarados got a critical hit, he used Rain Dance. Uh, next up was Dragonite, 
who went down to a couple of uh, of headbutts because he flinched on the first try, on the second try too. Uh, then out came another Dragonite. I just spent headbutt again. And next up was Aerodactyl, which was a big, big threat because it could actually use Rock Throw and just destroy me. But since I set up double team, uh, he actually missed and took me down pretty. I took it down pretty easily with a couple of headbutts. Next up was Charizard, who has Flamethrower, so I had to use a double team for that too. Because Flamethrower is 100% accurate, and if it actually managed to hit, I would be pretty much dead. And I couldn't do anything about it. And that is Lance defeated, and we entered the Hall of Fame with only a Yan mod, but we have to do the post game too. I want to try and defeat Red. But the most most of the post game is actually pretty easy, so we shouldn't have too many problems here. Uh, but yeah, we're the champion with only a Yanma, and a pretty fast time. Uh, so like I said, nothing in the post game is really threatening. I just battled Blue. Blue has a diverse team, so that's that's the only threat here. The Jihad could do a lot of damage to me with sand attacks, but I managed to take him down with two. Headbutts, um, Raiden went down to one Giga Drain, I started with a Giga Drain on Arcanine because I didn't want him to heal, I just spammed Headbutt after that, uh, he flinched, and he went down to another Headbutt, next up was a Gyarados, I just spammed uh, Headbutt on that, He used full restore, but I just used full, uh, headbutt again. And next up was Gyarados, which went down to a couple of headbutts uh, after he got healed up. He flinched there. Uh, he could easily take me out there, but... A lucky flinch saved us. Next up was a Executor that went down with one wing attack easily. And last but not least was Alakazam. Who could do a lot of damage to me, but it didn't even get a hit in before we took it down. Next up was Red. I just spammed double team on Pikachu because his Charizard was pretty scary. His Pikachu could do a lot of damage to me too if it wanted to. But I just spammed double team and then I just spammed headbutt on Pikachu who missed the Thunder. And it went down pretty easily to a headbutt and two, wings, two wing attacks after it healed up. Next up was Charizard, I just used a headbutt, he missed a flamethrower. Next up was uh, another headbutt and it flinched him, and last but not least we took him out with another headbutt that actually managed to be a critical hit. Next up was a Blastoise who went down to a headbutt and a couple of Giga Drains. He did manage to hit a Blizzard, which did a lot of damage to me, but he went down to another, another Giga Drain and we got a little bit of health back. Next up was Norlux, I just used a couple of headbutts on it. Uh, it took me a while to take him down because he's pretty defensive tank, but after that, the rest of his team was pretty easy. He did have a Venusaur that went down to a couple of wing attacks. And last but not least was his Espeon that couldn't really damage me. I just spent Headbutt and Wing Attack on that. I managed to flinch it with Headbutt. Nearly took him out with another Headbutt. And last but not least, we took him out with the last Headbutt and we defeated Red. In a couple of tries, but it was pretty easy. Yanmo was surprisingly easy to use and Headbutt was a... Pretty much lifesaver here. I didn't expect it to be that good, but it was pretty good, I guess.